because it's directed to my field. So, watch the thing make yeah. Muzzle brakes are kind of like a unilateral thing, where they're awesome for the shooter because they are very good about drastically reducing the recoil. However, you will make no friends because people to the left and right are dealing with that concussion because it redirects everything off to the side. So, um, get a suppressor, uh, <laughs> or, because um, that takes a little bit of time, we're just gonna uh, separate ourselves a little bit more. So if you're a little bit too close from somebody that's shooting a flaming, screaming death machine, then fudge over a few feet, all right? I, trust me, I got it, I understand. Um, but yeah, that, that's the easy way to get around that. Right. Uh, line is safe, line is cold, we're gonna go down range. Please do me a favor, not that anybody is doing this on purpose, sometimes we have mental lapses. Don't touch any of the guns until everybody's back. You know what I mean? Sir. All right, appreciate it. Let's go ahead and go down. Yeah. Gone. All right, so this is awesome. Point of aim, point of impact at 100. Remember, there's no real discrepancy where that first round was. So in his case, we kind of debunked that whole Cold War Zero thing. Not that it doesn't exist. It's just we haven't found it's as applicable as people have made it out to be. All right, so we got them touching here. Nice stack. That's awesome. So what I'm looking for is the target doesn't lie. So historically, to simplify it, if you've got some vertical stringing, that's a problem with your breathing. Because when you think about mm -hmm. it, if you just kind of hyperventilate, it's moving that sight up and down. Anything strung horizontally, that's usually an issue with your body position. Because nine times out of 10, if your natural point of aim is off, it's usually to the left or to the right. So that, those are the tells I'm looking for right out of the gate. Up and down, you need to work on your breathing, side to side, you need to work on your body position or your trigger press, one of those two. In this case, I would just say, move a little further away from the guy with the muzzle brake <laughs> and then maintain doing what you're doing. I've got real no issues right there. So I just need you to maintain consistency. All right, so nice work. I would, the first thing I would say is, hey man, double check your natural point of aim. All right, because everything's where it should be. It's nice and tight. It's just not in the geographic center. And or, maybe because of getting bumped around the airplane and or atmospheric changes, because temperature's slightly different where you're at, that could have moved the group also. So we're dealing with a couple things right there. So what I would tell him to do is just double check his natural point of aim, don't make any corrections, and then again, that's a good group, I need another one just like that. And if it lands in the same spot at the next time, then we know we need to make a mechanical adjustment. So in this case, just crank the amp up to 11, get all the power out of your scope, because that's what you paid for, and you'll be fine. Um, this is good because historically we've had some uh, body position issues with you, so we're um, taking care of that. That's awesome. You know, ever so slightly low. To be honest with you, I'm not hysterical about this. That could obviously be an environmental factor from the last time you shot the and gun. The gun, I actually my dope had. I need to add a half a mil. Okay. In the get a hundred. I got because I kind of dropped my dope. But anyway. So with that said, I would tell them add that half a mil, fire it again, I need consistency from you. Yeah, gotcha. So, you know, like Garrett, even if you're, we're doing good out of the gate, you know, don't think like, man, I am awesome. I can just kind of turn the brain off. But now I need you to work really hard because, you know, you're a victim of your own success. You probably mm -hmm. should have eased into this. Like, you know, gave me like a decent group and then kept shrinking it over time. Now I'm expecting greatness out of you. Mm -hmm. So same thing for Alan. And to be honest with you, that's a challenging thing. Yeah. Same mm -hmm. thing. I need that next group to maintain that consistency. So it's not so getting wild on me. But Michael, that's great. All right, uh, okay, we just forgot that 30. Uh, we'll move right along. All right, this one was... Me. Brian, cool. I like the point of impact as far as your elevation. We've got a little bit of left and right deviation. So my advice to you is double check your body position, make sure you're not fidgeting, and then double check your natural point of aim. Other than that, that tells me you got good trigger control and your breathing sound. So let's just work on the body position. I'll okay. be there to kind of look over your shoulder. No big shakes, but again, uh, first rattle out of the box, pretty good. Right. Yeah. So the cool thing is, is your elevation is good, so we don't really have to worry about the breathing. Um, point of aim, check your natural point of aim, and then I know your, your body's getting used to how it wants to negotiate the relationship with the gun as far as how you get behind the rifle. Okay. Because you're still feeling a little bit um, uncomfortable, is that right? Well, this is the first time for me to ever shoot prone. Okay. So I was I was definitely yeah. having a You're learning new skills, time. you're Fine. figuring out you know where your arms need to go so rocks aren't poking you. I got it. So with that said, as you get more and more comfortable with the position, this is going to be less and less of a factor. I did so, wing don't. a couple of them, I know. All right, boys. The harmonics may be on the way. Yeah, shooting on the Winchester and stuff like that. So he really made me. Of course, he thought I was safe. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, let's start with a bullet. All right, let's go live. Where's Larry Bickerson? Going hot. Going hot. Fire in the hole, baby. 
was so excited about possibly getting my own reality TV show, I just totally blew my mind. <laughs> um, so as soon as we get back behind the guns, we're going to write down temperature, actual altitude, and light direction, and density altitude. So we have that as a baseline. All right, guys. All right, let's go back.